You're definite. <laughs> It's an easy 32 grams of protein right there. There was only one other person that would. All right, I got a sponsor video. This company reached out to me again. I did a sponsor video with Chris's boots. We absolutely love them. I wear them all the time. You guys see me slip them on. He's wearing them seriously in every freaking video. This brand and boots is so comfortable and so affordable. So when they reached out for me to me asking if I wanted to do a sponsor video with woman boots i was so excited i'm out of breath because i was running back from the barn so um me and the boys are doing some stuff out there but i wanted to share these with you guys when they reached out to me they did um offer me garden boots but they sent me these um they're winter boots they are so warm so it's a bit of a chilly day today i'm gonna go out there and wear them just wanted to share with you guys these are super comfortable they might have some good sales i do have discount codes linked down below i do not make money off of these sponsor videos i do share videos what i like and what i think about the company i am doing a second video with this company because i really like this brand and i wanted to share with you guys so yeah i am going to go now um, we're going to go take cover animals <laughs> Gosh dang it. <laughs> I'm trying to do a sponsor video. We need to see how much... What in the heck is this tent doing down here? This North Face tent is just chilling. It got wrecked last year by the wind. How many bells do we have back there? Do you guys know? I don't know why there's still... Looks like there's quite a bit, and we only have that, right? Yeah. So we need to get more straw today. Okay, so let's. Um, the goats already got fed, right? Did you feed the goats today? We did that. There's food out there. Okay, so let's grab some straw and put some in the. Um, um, yeah, let's just grab that whole little barrel. It's freaking chilly out here. And I don't wear socks with my boots, and my feet get cold fast, so. These boots will make my toes red because they get so dang hot. Nikki, you were like, you're laying there like you're dead by your food. You're such a fatso, you hog all the food. Here, I'm gonna go grab the, um, you know, just the bedding. I need fresh bedding laying there.
Um, we're gonna pick that up eventually too. Is it easier to bring a wheelbarrow in there for you, Fisher, or throw it over the fence? Probably a wheelbarrow in there, huh? Yeah. That's more than I thought we were gonna have. Okay. Um, go find it. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are stanky. I see you staring at me, Swan. Barely, but I can see you. Okay. So now we're gonna put some fresh bedding in the coop for these chickens, and I still haven't fixed the. Um, the yeah, door. yeah, you can watch the door for me? Yeah. Okay, don't let them out, okay? Because okay. they're going to try. They're going to get out. Then they're going to lay their eggs in the goats. And then the goats are going to step on them. Were you the one having all this commotion in here? She's the mean one. She's mother hen. She's mother asshole. Look at all that dookie. Look at all that dookie. Let's put this down here for a minute. Give them this cantaloupe. Maybe she'll come out of the way. Oh, no, that's not Mother Hen. Mother Hen doesn't do that. She pecks me. It freaking hurts. Okay. I think if I put this in my tight pocket, it's not good. It's going to burst. Okay, hold on. Haven't switched these over yet. I need to do that. Let's see if they've been eating. Hi, but you're not supposed to be in here. You scare my chickens. You stay by the door, okay? Okay. Dang it. I can see that the inside is empty, so they are trying to put their head in there, but I need to fix these. My defense is. Chris, put that in there. And then I need more ash. Oh, they got okay ash. I need more ash. You buttholes, that's for your laying stuff. Here, eat a cantaloupe. <laughs> Just gonna give them extra stuff because it's been muddy. It's not gonna be muddy. Again for a minute, but I wanna give them extra stuff to lay in. <laughs> oh, look at how big our duck is. Don't bite me, I haven't touched you since you were little. Look at how pretty you are. I think this is the boy. I don't know. We'll find out. Boys have really pretty feathers. There we go. Now that's more. More for them. And I'm gonna put these. That's so cute. What are you doing on the opposite side? Oh, they can squeeze foot so they can escape from people. We need to clean escape that out. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, we'll do water in a little bit. That's enough for now. It's half full. Take the branches out. Um, no, they still got a little bit of greenery on them. Are you gonna give it to the goats? Yes. Okay, go give them some. Did you go inside there? Yes. Oh, they're fighting. Do you need me to do it? No. You look really tired. No, that's okay, that's enough for now. We'll let the sun dry some of it out now. Okay. No, we got all the wet stuff off, so. No, no, the super wet no, no, stuff, no, no, where no. Nikki stands and like, Stands by the food from his brother and shits all day. <laughs> Nikki said it's his food. Are you gonna get more? Okay. They have been they have been licking that. The salt rock. The salt rock, yeah. 
Mickey. Mm -hmm. Not as hot as like you. Oh, that fish are coming out. Okay, when you guys are done, let's get in the van and go do some laundry. Are you guys going to stay or go, actually? You guys don't have to go. Okay. You want to stay? Yeah. They'll be fine with the battery brick. We're not going to be gone that long. If you wanted to go, but you can stay, that's fine. Yeah, we don't let people play in there. It's dirty. I need the weather to get warmer, so... Freaking property, but it's spring and it's so cold. It's like freaking winter time still. There you go. That's a bigger space for them. That's what we've been waiting for. Nicer weather. Look at that guy in there. And then, then over at nighttime, I'll do the same like I did with the other ducks. I'll put a thick blanket over this and it will keep them warm. And then eventually graduate them without the blanket. And that's how I do it. It works for me. If you don't do it this way, that's good for you. But this is how we do it, and our ducks are just fine. I think they're cute. They're cute. Look at them take a bath. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of these ducks we get up here are used to this hardy weather, and the weather is getting nicer. So we'll have some chilly nights, but they'll just be they'll be just fine. If by chance we get a surprise like freeze or something, then of course I'd move them inside. But they'll be fine. Look at them. They're loving it. Look at they're swimming. Yeah. They're so cute. That's so cute. <laughs> Bite my hands. <laughs> Nikki, you're such a pig. <laughs> Rambo, you never get at treats. <laughs> Nikki, right here. They're like, we don't eat off the ground. Yeah, you guys are fighting over now, but I'm gonna bite my finger. <sighs> My finger. Okay, today is the day I'm going to get that bird feeder put up. It's going to be really, really windy tomorrow. No, I think today. I think actually the wind's going to kick up today. We live by the lake, so the breeze, when we get like wind advisory, that lake breeze is harsh. So what we're going to do is we're going to get that bird feeder up before the wind kicks in. So I can share it with you guys because I'm telling you, this is like the best Mother's Day gift or Chris said Father's Day gift ever. Now I'm going to be honest, I don't know how it works because I haven't used it yet, but the idea of it is like the best. I'm going to be straightforward with you guys because I don't lie about sponsorships. I don't get paid for them, but I honestly think I would be super freaking stoked if one of my kids got that for me. So let's do this. Chicken coop. Yeah. Yeah. Don't mess with the eggs. Here, I'll go over there with you. Let me put my boots on first. This is the baby chick crap. I'm just going to dump it over here. What? Yeah. That's starting to make eggs. Well, there. That's what they're for. So I'm putting this over here. There we go. I have corn growing back here. I highly doubt it's going to be like good enough to actually eat. But I'm. Um, I don't think the corn will grow. Is what I'm saying. 
but I know the stalks should grow and I like to use the stalks for Halloween fall decorations for free. Just gotta grow it. Now if we grow corn, that will be even a bigger bonus. Looks like I gotta clean this out too. Look how big our baby chicks are that we hatched. They shit a lot. Today's day two. I normally go a day, skip a day, and then change it again. Water is got poopy in it, that's all normal, but this is good fertilizer. I'm just gonna dump in that area over there. But first, look at this cute hummingbird feeder. Now I know we have that one bird feeder. I don't know if it has a hummingbird. Yes, it has a small one. Does it still has a small one? We have a hummingbird that goes out there every year in the garden. And I just thought this was super cute and we could feed it even extra more. So instead of buying that syrup stuff that you get at the store, I think it was only $12.99 for a pretty good size. Um, I think it was like a liter of feed for it. We're just going to do sugar water. Like we did last year. It's just fun. So some just regular old sugar. We'll do about a half a cup or you think about three quarters. Think about three quarter cup sugar. Um, yeah. Here, you pour it in there and then I'm going to hold it. Should I pull over? Slowly, not at like the same time. We're gonna try and oh, you know what? We'll go like this here. Here, you hold this. The knee's gonna help. Oh shoot! Mm -hmm. We're gonna put this here. That big chunk of sugar. And then when you do that, we can use this as a funnel. So I'm going to use this corner. Oh, oh God. That's okay. We'll sleep later on. The goal today is, is I'm not really sure. Chris has some goals he has to get done. We're on countdown now for a surgery. He did a lot yesterday with building the um the sleeping quarters for the female goats, which I'm like super excited to get. Like I really want that goat milk like now. Like I really wish we had it now. Especially, especially yeah. But we're getting there, baby steps. I can put red food coating in there, but I'm not going to do that to the birds. They don't need that. Mm -hmm. We don't even need that. Okay, Cheaper ones for $9.99. And then they have really pretty ones for $19.99. But we stuck with $12.99 right in the middle. Let's go hang this up. There we go. We're going to go to the other side, though. Right? I got some of your crop to clean too. We're gonna hang it right here by our pooper. Oh my god. They're gonna smell like poop. They're gonna smell all pooping now. Luckily, our poop don't stink. Yeah. Oh, so don't move. Now, how am I gonna get up there? I need a lot of Oh, that would be a good video for the sponsor's ladder. But it's a bird feeder too. So There we go. How's it look? It looks looks good right there. Good. So is that a waddle they put on? Yeah, they feed it. They get on the edges right there and those flowers will put their long little hey, no. deep noses in and they'll suck out the sugar water. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. And that's how that's done. What happened? Yeah. You need me to help you? You guys are next. 
Ashley called our goats gay. <laughs> go, rooster, go. Run, rooster, run. That's all I say. Quack, quack, quack. I hear him. Oh my gosh. Can you oh. get him out of there? Those freaking girls. Poor guy. They're not allowed, the girls are not allowed near my chickens. This is the reason why. What they do to you guys? Here's the rake right here, Ben, the rake that I use. Okay, Aldi, you need to bend down with me, girlfriend. Oh, one oh, still oh, making oh. it now. Hey, where's the little egg at though? They took it. What? Gosh darn those girls. No. Why to stick my hand in the flesh toy? <laughs> yes. That's oh there, there it is. So just put one over there. Put in the little one? Put one green one and one real one over there. What? Put two over there. Put a well, green one and an orange one. This one? Yeah, because we're going to try to hatch the ones with the hen on that side, and then we're going to collect the ones to eat on this side. No, what? over there, on the other opposite side. The other side? Yeah, yeah. There we go. All right, we'll just leave them like that for the entire day, and then we'll come collect the ones right here. Look, we'll collect the ones to eat on this side tonight, okay? Those cockroaches messed up. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if it works. Gosh, I was wondering why they weren't laying in there. The girls. Them girls are on my last friggin' nerve. Free three year old. Little Almira. Is that her name? So we have her chilling right here. She doesn't like to be strapped to me. She likes to be constant. She likes free. She likes to be free. So, yeah. What we're gonna do is plant these. Oh shoot, we got these at the IFA store. They're late summer potatoes. So you can't walk in garden boxes. I told you that yesterday. What we're gonna do is plant them around here, right in this area, around this apple tree. This apple tree is gonna take a few years to get anything going. We have corn planted over there. Mom, and we're gonna do some potatoes over here. That's fine, it'll grow all together get like a piece of wood and then get like some you know the christmas tree things like the branches on christmas trees and make like a christmas themed one that'd be kind of cool so these be kind of i don't know use your imagination yeah like it mom like it These kids nowadays need to use your imagination more you're stuck inside your little virtual crap world I don't have my virtual crap That's work. the first step of being a liberal. Yeah. You need to be in real life. It's all about using your imagination.
Okay, so what we're having for lunch is these instant mashed potato flakes. The ingredients are not that bad. We do have real potatoes, but since I have this and it's convenient for me, and the ingredients aren't horrible in this, <coughs> I like to use this stuff. It just makes my life easier. I just planted a whole bunch of freaking potatoes. If you haven't planted potatoes, do it. Look into it. It's really easy. Hoping we'll get a good harvest. Um, potatoes, and then this is just ground beef seasoned with garlic corn, green beans, and carrots, and I'm going to put some Tillamook cheddar cheese on top, and this is what we're going to have for lunch today. So this is what Arabella's little portion, these are the girls's, and I'm just loading them up. I put the Celtic sea salt, or the Celtic salt in with the potatoes while they're cooking, and then I'm topping it with Redmond's pink salt, and then I'm putting some um, flaxseed on it because... I try to remember to put that in, on everything of theirs. It's really good for body. Okay, we have this lifted up now. I've had a couple of you say that these were on upside down. They're not. If you go to the website, these are not on upside down. So, it's for like if it's raining, the rain won't, you know, get in there. If it rains and it's not covered, the rain's going to fill this up. I suppose that's why. But those are on the right way. Cause he's like, I'm not no dummy. Nothing. Hey, you guys didn't fill up my animal buckets, did you? What? Okay, bring them over here. The duck foot changed the duck's water. God dang it. See those girls. They won't stay in my damn coop. This one's broken quite, right quite, here. Quite, quite, uh, They're moving them around. I'm going to hide this one down here. That sucks when the girls block one of our eggs. So I'm going to put that one down there and now it's underneath here. Yeah, because they're freaking throwing them around. They're freaking buttholes. Oh my God. They the need to ones? stay out of here. Oh no, yes. they're throwing the, the ceramic ones at the real ones. Oh. Well, there. So the we're gonna put. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna put this one down here. And those are the ones I'm gonna try and save. And then, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put these. I'm gonna put these inside here. So let's hide this up here now. I need to go get more straw. Let me put those in there. And then bring these ones in. Get out of here. You guys are breaking my eggs. That one's broken down there. So we have some of our compost from our animals. Goat and chicken cockeye make straw in here. We're going to cover up this area with it. So you guys could just dump this in there and then I'll rake it around. These are... Filled with potatoes. By June, I want to do two more this size for late potatoes for our family. She wants to. She wants to stay in here. Hey, get that out of your mouth. <laughs> it's about ready to fall off. So we have water on, on the property. This is the fishers hooking up the hose to the well here. And we need to pick up the We need a toast. Thank you, toast toast. That's, that's, that's Dad's gauge right there. He did one measly portion of a little chore, and then he sits down the rest of the time. Dad's. Mom called him out here. <coughs> so we got our potatoes in the ground, and we got the fertilizer on Wait, top of them. Wait, is that the them. full thing? The black one ain't gonna, uh, I guess you can. You have to use your finger and squirt it. Yeah, bring it over here, fish. Hi, Mom. Can I get two? We have that other one up there, but it's way too. Oh, there might be two. Hold the on. wind is making me nose. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Timothy, hey. Watch out. 
Hey, wait, your shirt is filthy. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta go to the bath tonight. That's it. Uh, I'm gonna take a bath tonight. Okay. Mom, is this a head? Go ahead. Wait, Piper, that's the poop wheelbarrow. <laughs> Get that toy out of there. We're trying to soak this area up here. The wind doesn't. We're going to have a heavy wind day tomorrow. And I kind of have a feeling that that's going to go flying everywhere. <laughs> We're going to have goat, chicken, caca all over the place. Baby. We rounded up as much chickens as we could. There's a few of them in the rooster we couldn't get to. Nikki, you need to be calmed. Okay, so we're going to chase. Meh. Yeah, the males are here. And the females are going to be back over there. Meh. This guy, we're gonna have to start to get this fence more because Mom? those guys are gonna try. I know they're gonna try and get over there. And then go straight. Boom booms. Get a peanut. The peanut needs those to catch the Those are the fast peanut. ones. We can't catch them. Who knows, Mom? Uh, fast peanut? chicken mocos. Peanuts are chicken too. Cut them into pieces. Are you done? Yeah. I'm tired too. We'll get these potatoes yeah. and then I'll start. Um, Getting baths ready. I have the barbecue going right now too. I am not spraying you with this water. It's not summertime yet. You will freeze your gonads off. Nope. The kids are like ready for trampoline um, to get sprayed in the trampoline. In the summertime, I throw a bar of soap in there and I spray them with the hose and I say um, trampoline shower. The kids really enjoy it. Killian's like, can we do that again? I'm like, not until summer. Dog out of the garden. Your dad's garden. Let there be water. And there we go. We have water. I freaking forgot to to set up the um I freaking forgot to set up the bird feeder. And my mouth is so dry and caca feeling. I forgot to set up the bird feeder. Okay, so time's like ticking. It's seriously count down until Chris has his surgery. I need to get together a two three a two to three week meal plan, meaning I need to have space in here. We're remodeling the inside as it's not even finished yet <laughs> of this cabin. So where the girls' bunks are right here, that bunk mattress is taken out because um, I forgot to put on a nighttime diaper on somebody. And the, the mattress that is outside sunny with simple green. Anyway, so what we're doing is this will no longer be 